Hello everybody, good afternoon, welcome to our webinar at PRI Mozambique, uh, Maputo specifically here. Uh, we have uh, our amazing team today. I would like to have, welcome our guests, welcome Kenyash, welcome Linu, uh, Albino, Mr. Albino, our translator, welcome. Um, welcome all the participants that are in the audience with us. Um, today's webinar will be uh, about our special skilled super talents. Super talents that we have here in Mozambique, super talents around all PRI Africa that we would like to uh, be showing uh, and, uh, and uh, sharing with you guys all the super talents we have. Um, today webinar will be around 30 minutes. Uh, we will be reading your questions in our chat and please do participate with us by sending us your questions and our amazing guests will respond to your questions to you. Um, your comments will, are very welcome. We will do a brief introduction of our guests and who they are and uh, we will uh, speak a little bit about how to develop our special talents people in the workplace. Um, we can see in our society in Mozambique a difficulty of public companies and private companies to hire people with disabilities. Well, it is time to change that. Today we will be lovingly referring them as special skilled super talents. And uh, we, are going, we are here um, to share with you that PRI Mozambique has been a company pioneer uh, with the initiative to find job opportunities uh, to uh, people with disabilities, our special skilled super talents, um, and we are using our talent management tools. Our talent man management tools, in, we are using our assessments uh, uh, to do behavior interviews with our candidates, we are doing cognitive ability uh, assessments. We are doing verbal reasoning, problem solving assessments, uh, job readiness assessments. And uh, these uh, amazing talents uh, with special abilities have been showing us that they are passing our assessments. And they are showing that they have abilities uh, 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 and capacity, full capacity to be in the work environment. And PRI is now engaging uh, uh, with these candidates and making sure that they are inserted in the, in the labor environment, in the work environment. Um, to support our debate here today, we have uh, two amazing guests. Uh, uh, I have Fenia Stonella, chemical engineer, manager of IFELAC Training Center. Uh, also here as a representation of our Mozambican government and the Ministry of Labor, um, passionately making sure that people with disabilities are trained and are having a technical degree. And they are also uh, finishing uh, in the training center uh, with the, a medium technician degree of 12th grade when they finish their, their training. Also with me is Lino. <laughs> Lino Makano, bachelor's degree in teaching of English language, also a member of the Mozambican Disabled Association, uh, currently teaching English lessons to a private school and also uh, teaching uh, 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 at home for children that are studying. And he is basically teaching basic computer literacy uh, skills and abilities uh, so people can become computer literate. And um, Limo is one of our special skills super talents. He's one of the persons with special abilities and he has been successful. Um, they are both going to show, uh, share a little bit of their story with us. Uh, as like we said, PRI has been the pioneer here in Mozambique to start uh, 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 promoting the skills and competencies of these special skill talents into the workplace. I'm going to pass the word to uh, Feniash. I'm going to ask Feniash to introduce himself 
And obviously, uh, I would like to ask the audience to start asking questions um, and uh, write uh, whatever comment you need. And I would like to welcome everybody to this, uh, to this uh, webinar. Kimiyash, tell us a little bit of you. Tell us a little bit of your passion. Thank you, Lia, and welcome to all participants. Uh, my name is Kenya Sonella, as I said. I am uh, actually a professional standing technician at Splunk. I am a clinical engineer, and I uh, actually finished my master in health safety and occupation region. Uh, I also hold the postgraduate in safety at A and B. Uh, I'll start by introducing my student, that is Splunk. Uh, if the line is a is a logical series, means a uh, logical series location of trend inputs in the labor studies. Uh, if the line results from a merge or a fusion between uh, the existing national inputs of employment and vocational trend on its uh, trend component and the inputs of labor studies are the same. Uh, if the line is on the 24 fixed trend centers, only 29 model units countrywide. Uh, FLAG is, uh, is in local level, is represented by the provincial delegation that I elected uh, altogether. And FLAG is currently supervised by Secretary of State for Health and the Employment. Since in the recent past, it was supervised by the University of Labor, Employment and Social Security. In terms of course given, we've got basically the basic courses, we've got the industrial and the non-industrial courses, we've got courses of the national board and vocational qualification, we do have as well excellence courses. In terms of basically the basic courses where the admission level is grade seven, the duration is almost three to four months, and the certificate is issued by the third. We do have as well industrial and non-industrial courses that the admission level is grade 10. And this uh, level, the student or the trainees, they can accumulate the credits for accreditation by a name that is currently the regulator. And the certificate is being issued by flag as well. We do have uh, courses of national board and vocational qualification. Uh, at the inducer and non inducer course as well, and the admission level here can be grade 7, either grade 10, grade 10, depending on the course that the candidate is, is, is running to. The, the duration is 6 up to 9 months, depending on the course, and here the certificate is being issued by the National Authority for Professional Education, that is a, in abbreviation, is ANET. We do have as well the excellence course with any international, international curriculum or equivalent, uh, only initially in Maputo, City, in Kabdelgar, uh, and Tete, only in three provinces. Uh, the target group for this uh, access course are mainly the companies. The admission level is grade 10 and grade 12. The duration basically variable is variable because these are the customized course depending on the needs of the company. We see them with the company and we customize the course according to the company needs. Uh, in terms of inducer course, we do have uh, inducer electricity, domestic electricity, inducer mechanical as well, instrumentation, automation, just some examples. In terms of admin, administrative course, we do have accounting, accountability, we've got the ICTs, that's information and communication technology, English, modern resource. Just some examples. In terms of labor courses, we have written self work, arbitration and labor disputes, labor law, and the professional deontology. That is the big picture of the course that we so far provided on our, our uh, 11 projects that we are in sale for. Thank you. And they will be able to attend some questions as we are going to have this discussion. Thank you so much, Finias, for sharing the amazing courses you have at the training center of IFPELAC. If the audience did not catch, IFPELAC is accepting uh, special abilities uh, students with 7th grade and 10th grade. And if you do a course of uh, three years, you will come out of the institution with equivalency of 12th grade and you will be able 
to go to university from this point. Amazing so is that if Belak uh, at the training center has got a bursary scheme, just in case your family has got low capacities financially, and uh, the institution will support you with a bursary scheme for your children. So if you are in the audience and you know someone that needs, wants to progress in terms of education and would have special abilities, please contact if Belak, Femiej will sometimes share with us the email address and the website and contact details uh, for, for everybody to have access. Next, I will give my word to Lino, our amazing talent here, uh, and, and he will share his story of success. Well, um, thank you very much. Um, for, first of all, I'd like to thank um, uh, P, uh, uh, PRI for the, uh, this initiative. Uh, of course, uh, these uh, kind of in initiatives in Mozambique are very seldom, and we, um, we as uh, people with disabilities, um, we are so thankful for this uh, initiative indeed. Um, first of all, as a person with disability, I'd like to say that um, I've been facing a lot of um, difficulties, of course, uh, since my childhood, but then um, I managed uh, to overcome uh, some of the problems uh, through education, as I understood that education would be the only key, uh, the only component that would make me, would uh, lift me up um, uh, in, in, in my life. So I decided to um, embrace education as um, my colleague, the moderator said earlier that uh, I'm a bachelor, I have a bachelor degree in um, ELT, in teaching. So um, I had to take this course uh, as something that would facilitate me in my uh, in working because it, it, it's, it's uh, something which is a little bit easy for me to do and also um, it is something um, that um, um, well, it's, it's easy for me to do, not only, not only for that uh, facility, but um, it's, it's um, uh, my inclination, it's my, it's my vocation uh, also uh, to, to, to be teaching and working with, with kids and it's, it's something fantastic for me. And also I decided uh, to go for, forward with education in order to show other, um, other people uh, with disabilities, my, my, my fellow here, uh, my, my fellow um, uh, well, colleagues also and people in our community, that people with disabilities have got um, um, capacity, are able also to uh, improve uh, their lives and also to uh, do so many things in, in their lives and also to um, as a way of, sh of, of uh, changing uh, people's mentality, uh, there are many people in our society that think that people with disabilities, they cannot, um, they cannot um, uh, do anything, well, uh, uh, people who only want to be given. So I, um, I've, I've decided to um, go forward with um, my education uh, as a way, some, as, as something that would help me, um, would help me um, and also my family and um, to uh, overcome so many so many problems that we have in Mozambique. Um, well, because uh, what I've seen is that uh, people with disabilities are highly dependent on the, their, their families in, uh, for uh, their survival and um, it's, it's difficult for people to come and give you and give you bread. You have to, um, well, uh, stand up and, and, and walk around and looking for bread uh, yourself without um, uh, just asking because it's very difficult uh, to keep asking things from people. So what is in, really important is to um, go uh, to work. And, but what we've seen, um, I said particularly here in Mozambique, um, the um, uh, problems of um, employment is very difficult to access to employment in Mozambique. For example, myself, I finished my, um, my education um, well, at, at the university uh, since uh, uh, 2006. 2016, it's been difficult for me to uh, get access to employment. Well, uh, we understand. So this is this is the only way that uh, we need uh, we need to be helped. And this kind of um, this kind of meetings. Um, well, 
uh, will, will, will help and change people's mentality and start to believe in people with disability that they can uh, also do something. Um, also because uh, people with disability, they don't want to be given money. We are not asking for money. We are asking for holes or asking for fertilizers. Uh, we are asking um, for seeds. And we are going to store uh, our service and, um, in the in our next coming, uh, coming uh, rain season. We are going, um, going to harvest and, and have an, our own food for our service, our, our families and, and kids. Um, we, we also want um, that employers uh, to change their mindset uh, towards uh, people with disabilities. Um, uh, because they have uh, been disbelieving this, uh, this uh, kind of people that uh, they cannot um, uh, save um, in their companies, they cannot do anything. But we can do, we are super talent, we um, have skills. Um, but uh, even if we display our skills, certificates to them, uh, they continue disbelieving us as people that we uh, cannot do anything, we cannot change, we cannot even improve uh, their companies uh, to grow. Um, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to stop. Thank you so much, Lino, for sharing us your beautiful story. Thank you so much for giving us a little bit more of strength about showing that uh, uh, people with disabilities are capable and they can do it. And yes, we can. Here at PRL Mozambique, PRL Maputo, we are doing assessments and we are proving through our talent management tools that uh, do candidates with special abilities are capable, are competent, and have enough knowledge to be in any job uh, uh, available in our market. So I want to just uh, speak a little bit to the audience. I want to say hello to Paloma, uh, hello to Tamara Shilaul, uh, hello to Carol at Most Talents, um, hello to Mr. Ab Abdul from Deficiencia um, uh, Disability Mozambique, um, um, hello to Yasser Osifo, uh, hello to Mr. Mauricio Di Bombo, thank you for joining us. Hello to Mr. João Mapisi, thank you for being here with us. Hello to Mayara. Uh, so these are the people that are here with us. Hello to Zinat. Uh, hello also, and that's it. It's the people that are here uh, sharing with us uh, in this webinar. Uh, I would like to ask all of you, uh, Stella Jaqueta, wow, uh, sign language, thank you so much. She's congratulating us uh, for our initiative, well done PRI Maputo, well done PRI Mozambique, well done PRI Worldwide. Uh, Jessica is also saying amazing, they are enjoying, and we were made sure that Mr. Albin was here with us translating because we were counting that special skill talents were also watching. Uh, and Mayara is also saying great webinar as well as Nigel. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, if, if you guys have some questions, please start asking questions now to Lino and Phineas. Uh, I'm going to move forward uh, to speak a little bit uh, to Phineas. Phineas, tell us. So you have uh, a lot of tra technical training and uh, uh, and you know you have their special skill talents in, in as your students. So if you do a mechanical or electricity course, I mean, um, how do they get? How is this course, and how uh, is uh, are they uh, getting into in terms of performance as a as a technical for electrician? And by the way, you guys need to know that uh, Lino has managed to finish his dissertation bachelor's degree with 16 uh, as a grade for his bachelor's dissertation. Finish, tell us. Thank you, Lino. Uh, I'm just starting by, by socializing with everyone about the revelation that is currently in use in our vocational engine. Of the future of the people with disability. Uh, recognizing the need to attend the vulnerable and needy people, the Secretary of State for Youth and the Environment approved to the presidential decree number 7, 2020, uh, for 24th of February, and the presidential decree number 2 for the same year of 10th of January, the regulation of attribution of scholarship for professional training. According to this regulation, this year was certainly for this year was certainly it was defined 
One term uh, has a uh, goal for young kids with the big power in Antwerp. Uh, according to this regulation, on its uh, article 3, the main objective is to ensure access to professional training for needy people, to encourage the participation of women and girls in industrial and civil, con civil construction courses, contribute to the empowerment of women and girls. In the same regulation, in, the, uh, in the article 4, we have got there the scope of this regulation. The scope mainly covers the scholarship of uh, let's say the scholarship regulation apply to trainees or the candidates for economically deprived families with priority given to people with disabilities. The scholarships regulation apply equally to women and girls who wish to enroll in industrial and civil construction courses. And in article 4, just to set the regulation behind it, sorry, applying for granting the vocational training scholarship, the main requirement are his form, be economically deprived, proven by a private certificate issued by the competent authorities, all the certificates of literacy qualification of the level they required according to the course being applied for, not having benefited from a, any extended scholarship in the last two years, and not be over 35 years old. And just to highlight that in this regulation, the people with disability has top priority, taking into account the specificity of the course and the topology of the disability. Uh, we do have as well some uh, PPPs, some EMUs, which is uh, iPhone, that is, is, is currently is, is, is running. This MU is targeted basically to improve the infrastructures. The infrastructure is not to accommodate, accommodate the people who is the trainees with disability in terms of access, the ramp of access in the labs and the laboratories, uh, workshops as well, bathrooms, panels for practical art lessons, and the component of training the trainees in language, in sign language, so that they can be prepared to attend this type of group. Thank you so much, Vinayesh. Lino, we have a question for you. Lino, can you share your biggest challenge to success? Uh, well, my biggest challenge uh, to uh, success, um, well, I've been um, teaching, I've been teaching English uh, for many years now. Uh, well, I've been showing this um, to other people that um, people with disabilities they can um, help the society, they can contribute uh, for the growth, uh, for the changing of a uh, situation um, in, in, in Mozambique, particularly in, in, in Maputo and in my society, our community. Um, so I have thought that um, teaching English could um, change uh, people's minds um, and also um, teaching English would uh, open up uh, opportunities for many people to um, access to uh, employment. And of course, I uh, partly I have succeeded, um, I've succeeded um, meeting these uh, objectives um, because um, I've trained many people um, well, I've lost count, of course, of the number of people I've trained, and they um, managed um, to uh, get um, to, to get to get jobs. Um, so it's a little bit difficult because myself, um, I would. It's my passion, of course, um, working with people teaching uh, teaching uh, English. But um, I'd also love to be a part of a company where, um, which has not been easy because our employers. Um, they um, do not still do not believe some believe in, in people with disabilities. So if I could be part, for example, of a company, um, that's where I could show um, my abilities um, to them um, and prove uh, to the whole world how much 
when people with disabilities in the West because I would like to, um, I've been thinking that, uh, well, I, I want to save us a source of inspiration uh, for um, people, well, um, other people, not only from Mozambique, people um, around the world with disabilities start to believe uh, in themselves, self-esteem, um, it's, it's most important. Um, well, so uh, for me, it, it, this, this is what um, it, it should happen, and, and I've, been, I've been doing, of course, and well, partly I've been succeeding because uh, I, I, she, for me, it's, it's a bread, uh, it's, it's a bread winning, it's a bread winning, and now I'm, I'm, I'm just living on my, my own, my, my family, my, I have now my young family, so um, it's, it's been difficult. Life in Mozambique without uh, having a, 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 um, a safe, a safe, safe job, like um, a permanent, it's, it's been a little bit difficult. So um, if I would like things to, to, to change from now on. Uh, that's good. Also, uh, these uh, kind of meetings uh, should also help so that uh, uh, employers should uh, uh, inculcate in their minds and start believing in, 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 in us. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Nino, for sharing this amazing story, your amazing story with us. Um, Mayara is asking you a question for me. She's saying, is there a website or document that you can use to share the information on the training center? Uh, well, uh, I think that uh, by the end of the, this session, I'll be sharing some instruments that I brought here. We do have a regulation that uh, why is the scholarship system in our vocational institute, so I'll be able to share uh, as well as the website, Facebook website that we've got, so that anyone can access and see the, 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 the instrument. Thank you so much, Vinyash. Uh, so Zinat uh, from Pemba, she's asking who could be considered disability? So Finiash, if you're working for IFTA, IFTA Lab and the government, what is considered, as a Ministry of Labor, what is considered, who is considered disabled? disabled? Well, uh, I'm talking not as a, a member of Ministry of Labor, but as a, according to, to the regulation. Regulation, yes. According to the regulation, we consider a person with disability but the physical disability, okay, the, the, the disability that you can see, not in, in, in the internal part, that you, you can see in your eyes that this person is having the disability, is that you consider according to the disability. Thank you so much, Finiash. Uh, to respond to the same question, uh, Zinat, uh, clinically speaking and psychologically speaking, uh, we can there is a consideration of disability if uh, by any chance you were born, if you have not been born with a limitation in your brain, then it means that you are fit to learn. If there is no neurological deficiency, you are fit to learn, which means that uh, in a lot of countries you are included in national education in normal schools unless you have uh, uh, the problem of hearing or the problem of speaking, then it's when you are channeled to a special school. The reason why it is important to have inclusion is because if clinically the brain is functioning at 100%, if you can learn, if you can hear, uh, and if you can hold a pen for learning, then you should be included in a normal uh, private or public school, and yes, you should be treated uh, as special uh, uh, for special education if you have problems not seeing, if you have visual problems, if you have audio problems, and if you have speaking problems. And in that case, you would be sent into a school uh, uh, that uh, you need sign language and working with Brad, but your brain is still a hundred percent capable of learning. Um, from institution uh, Mozambique, Deficiencia in Mozambique, how many ONGs have been given the opportunity for people with special conditions? Lino, please answer that question. How many ONGs have been uh, helping us with that? Well, uh, first of all, before I touch your question, I'd like to uh, make um, a quick comment on the question uh, coming from uh, Pemba, is that? Yes. Right. Um, who is considered a disabled? Well, I'd like just to briefly um, give um, a quick definition of that, what disability is. Um, well, disability, 
it's a permanent and substantial fun um, a functional limitation of daily life activities um, caused by physical, mental, or a sensory impairment and um, environmental barriers are in, uh, resulting in uh, limit, limited um, participation. Well, um, disability um, includes uh, difficulty in seeing, uh, hearing, uh, speech, uh, moving, um, and, and learning. Right. So, uh, please, would you mind um, pose uh, that question again? Yes. Uh, to continue with, with Lino's comment, I would like to say that if your brain is uh, full uh, builded and constituted psychologically and mentally, then you are capable for learning. You just need to have uh, proper conditions uh, to promote that learning. So the next question was on ONGs, if there is any ONG working with people with disabilities at the moment in Mozambique. Oh, uh, well, working with um, uh, disability, people with disabilities, uh, well, um, I don't know whether we are talking about organizations. We are talking about Do you know any uh, by name? Oh, yes. Uh, for example, myself, um, I'll be speaking on behalf of my organization um, named Sifotechnica. Um, Sifotechnica uh, is um, an association of um, disabled youth um, in Mozambique. And we've got Sifotechnica uh, uh, basically uh, deals with um, uh, physical, um, physical impaired, impaired people, handicapped people. Uh, yes. And we've got uh, other um, organizations also dealing with people with disabilities uh, in Mozambique. Uh, we have ADEMU, um, uh, we have AMUDEFA, and there are so many, so many uh, organizations that are um, working um, in order to improve lives of uh, disability, dis disabled people in Mozambique. Thank you so much, Nino. Going to Zina's question, how can we sensitize companies uh, to include uh, these amazing talents into that company, their companies. Well, I would like to inform that PRI Mozambique is doing, is using the talent, talent management tools and special uh, uh, programs with assessments to actually be able to prove and show to organizations that our candidates with special abilities are most capable and are competent uh, to be uh, introduced into organizations and yes there is space for a lot of, of programs with organizations sensitizing uh, the um, uh, admission of, of uh, special skill talents into the organizations. Bruno Guella uh, is saying that this is an amazing webinar, very inspiring. At the end we treat everybody equal irrespective or of with disabilities. Yes it is. We need to improve our country. Mozambique needs to be a better place for people with special talents, with special skills. And uh, uh, for those that are asking about uh, Portuguese, we are going to be able to share uh, perhaps the same uh, webinar in Portuguese and share to everybody. João Mapis um, has been here uh, speaking about uh, sensorial uh, and intellectual health. Uh, as an HR, Yasser Yusufu is asking how to help the companies to consider and include these special talents within our roles. Well, Yasser, it's, it's, uh, it's actually not very complicated because as, you, uh, as we were being speaking from the beginning, PRI Mozambique has got talent management tools and assessments and uh, once you would like to fulfill with the government uh, rating of hiring special disability employees, we can conduct assessments and uh, we can show you that uh, these uh, employees, uh, these candidates are 100% capable of doing uh, certain, certain roles and doing certain, getting certain roles and certain jobs in organizations. We need to do more sharing of information with organizations, we need to sensitize organizations, and we need to show them as proof. Uh, thank you very much.
very much for everybody for being in this uh, in this uh, webinar. There, there are so many questions there still to be answered. We are going to be sending you an email uh, or uh, uh, trying to get your contact. If you can give us your contact details and email address, we are going to be able uh, to send you some re uh, some responses to your questions. Uh, share better information from IFPLAC uh, Training Center. So you can actually share that information with the, uh, the people you know that needs to develop uh, 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 education for special skill talents. But most of all, please uh, use this opportunity to share with a lot of families uh, that a disabled person can uh, grow up in education and can have a job. PRI Mozambique is one of the pioneers that is doing enhancing and showing how capable uh, uh, these uh, talents are amazing and are capable of getting jobs in the workplace. Thank you so much everybody for watching. Um, still uh, stay connected with us in LinkedIn, Instagram, uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter. Please uh, still follow us uh, on, uh, on, uh, on this journey that we are having and all other news that PRI has got for you in our social media. Thank you everybody for participating. Thank you Zania for coming. Thank you Lino for your amazing story. And thank you Mr. Albino for being here and translating it all for us. And thank you for all PRI team for the dedication and help that you have given us with this session. Thank you so much.